Today I'm going to do a full face all drugstore products. I haven't done one in quite a while and I'm just going to keep it really nice, soft, natural glam. So I'm just going to pick up the CoverGirl True Blend Skin Primer. Love this one. I think these CoverGirl skin primers are really, really nice and hydrating. I have a lot of dry stuff on my nose right now. I'm using the one that's like super moisturizing and it's really, really creamy. So when you uh, push it out, a lot comes out. So be really careful. Then I'm going to take the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. It's really nice and not heavy, so I'm just going to put this on a foundation brush. It does have like a mousse-like texture. I'm just going to use a Sigma F83 Kabuki one and push it in my skin. It is a little bit darker than my skin, um, but that's okay because I kind of bring it into my neck a little bit. Then we take the Pixie Beauty, and this is the Double Tap Palette, and I think it's really, really pretty, nice and natural and nude. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here. Now, this has like a lot of orange peaches, which is my favorite, but I wanna keep it more on the tan side, so I'm just gonna take this shade right here, called Fur Babies. I'm just gonna bring it up around here. See, this already kinda has more of that peachy orangey undertone which I love. So just use a little bit because a little bit goes a really long way with these colors which I love. It's very very pigmented and I'm just going to put that in my eye socket. You guys know my number one favorite concealer this year has been the CoverGirl True Blend. I love this concealer. It's so good. Then I'm going to take this Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm going to contour my face with it. I always go around my lips. Then I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Blend just in a little bit darker of a shade. And I'm going to put it like right here so that when I blend them together, it just kind of all diffuses nicely and blends good. So I'm letting that kind of sit and get matte. I was watching a video with Harush. I think that's her name. I feel it get kind of sticky for a second and dry up a little bit. And then she blends it. And at first I was like, mm, I don't know. That's going to be a mess for me because I have drier skin. And then I did it and I was like, bitch is onto something. It works. It's true. I don't know how it works, but I love it. It's a new technique and I'm into it. Taking a little blender and I'm just not even moving it around. I'm just setting it. And I'm going to start with the light stuff first. And then I'm going to take a stippling brush. It's my go-to stippling brush from Real Techniques. I feel like I've had it forever and it is in the best shape. I have like really hollow cheeks I feel like um I always have it's annoying so I take the bronzer up a little bit more and I put it kind of everywhere not everywhere but more into like my cheeks and stuff so they don't look so low now that it's like kind of dry you don't really have to smudge it around I'm kind of just like pushing it into my skin and that is like the technique. See, what I used to do, um, if I let it dry for too long, I would try to move it around and then it would get gray and muddy. And that's why I was like, what is she talking about letting it dry? That's insane. And then just pushing it into my skin, it makes all the difference. I feel like I don't lose as much coverage and I feel like it stays on my face longer and it just looks cleaner and better. And I'm so happy she shared that tip. Then I'm going to pick up this CoverGirl True Blend Minerals and this one is like a loose powder and it's very yellow. It's very yellow. Oh, I just dropped half of it. Push it under my eyes. Take a big fluffy brush like this. Kind of just wipe it away. I'm going to pick up a little bit of a darker powder, but I'm not going to use a bronzer powder. I'm going to use this CoverGirl Vitalist, Vitalist, 
healthy powder and it's just like kind of a tan shade I'm just going to push it to where I put all of the darker colors. Then I'm going to pick up this new Pixie Beauty Endless Silky Eye Pen. And it is in black. Black Noir. And I'm just going to run it underneath my eyes. Ooh, it is silky though. This is the part like I really hate. Like I'm not a fan of putting things in my eyeballs. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Revlon Volumizing, and I love this one. This one's really good. It actually washes off a lot of drugstore mascara. I notice will stay stained on me forever, but this one actually comes off, and it's really really black and gives me eyelashes. And I'm not putting on. I feel like I need a little lip liner, so I'm going to use one of my favorite lip liners from Koki Cosmetics. It's in the shade Dusty Rose. I love, seriously, check out their lip liners. They're really good. I'm going to use a little Posh Nude from Pixie Beauty. I'm gonna take this pure nude essence highlighter and it is in the shade be my highlight it's really pretty too put a little bit at the top of my cheeks then I'm gonna go into this pixie by Petra palette it's called natural beauty and I'm gonna take the shade deep top and I'm just gonna create like a little bit of a wing you don't have to do this I just feel like my eyes look really tiny and it just helps kind of like be bigger so this is my final look for my soft glam natural everyday all drugstore makeup look I hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe all that stuff but I love drugstore makeup I feel like it's really nice I feel like some of it's even better than more of the high-end expensive fancy stuff so I hope this helps you guys and I love you guys and I'll see you soon